Good morning from Riga, Latvia. Nelly and I have come here for about five days en route to Georgia to meet up with Brendan and Jody. As most of you guys know, we live nomadically and work within the EU primarily. So when we've got time off in between jobs or in between backpacking adventures, we have the freedom to sort of choose where we would like to go uh, within the EU and spend a few days, sort of like a city break, uh, if you will. And Latvia is a new country, so why not come here and explore the area around Riga, which is exactly what we're doing for the next few days. Very exciting, I think it's country number 80, I believe. Nice round number, so that's pretty good. Getting ever closer to 100. <laughs> However, that is totally not what this video is about. This video is about a job that I did in February of this year, about five months ago, with a partner of mine here in Europe, TravelDudes.org, which is a website, and we touch on that in this video, as well as Dave Brett, who some of you may know through some of Brendan's videos, uh, and he is also one of the partners here, and it was a job that we did for the client Feel Austria and Love Tyrol. It's a winter assignment. Now, why I'm sharing this video with you now is because uh, this week, the final seven videos that we were commissioned to create, there are two video teams, I was part of one of them, um, have now been uploaded and they're live on traveldudes.org. They are linked in the description and they are the final product of what this behind the scenes video um, was documenting. Now, I put a lot of work into three of these edits and it will give you a good understanding of a different style and a different format of travel video and uh, something that Travel Dudes has been working on for a couple of years and really developing like a solid uh, platform to get new work in that style. So I'm happy to be able to share that with you. They are very big edits. It's sort of a long form style, 12 to 15 minutes documenting one individual uh, location or destination within a region. So we uh, did this in February. It was a really cool assignment and I want to share this behind the scenes because I, this is before the Patagonia trip, it's before a number of the new subscribers found the channel here and were introduced to uh, my channel and YouTube. So um, I guess it's a look into my mentality five months ago and trying to share a little bit more information on how I get these jobs here in Europe, what we do when we're on location, and then what those final deliverables are. So similar to the style that Nelly and I have been trying to produce here on the channel, giving you more information about the small business, about how to uh, get these kind of jobs or how we get these kind of jobs, what we do, and I'm repeating myself now, so I think you get the idea. But uh, this video, I really enjoyed making it, and because I uh, now have the freedom to to share it with you here on this channel. I want you to see it. So I hope you like it. It's uh, winter time and if you've been to the Austrian Alps or Tyrol, let us know in the comments. Let me know what you think of the long form videos and uh, I hope you enjoy this one. So as always, thank you for watching. If you are not subscribed, please do because we've got a lot of really cool adventures coming up in Georgia. And uh, yeah, that's exciting. So without further ado, here's the video from Tyrol, Austria. Oh man! Oh man! Good morning from Tyrol, Austria. It is a beautiful, beautiful day here in the Austrian Alps. We have got perfect weather for our ski campaign with Travel Dudes, which is one of my partners here in Europe, and Feel Austria, Visit Austria, and the Tyrol Tourism Board. So this is completely another behind the scenes video on what it's like to work as a travel photographer and videographer. I hope to give you some more information on how I find these jobs, what I do when I am on assignment, and the deliverables and the outcome of the work. So. Here we go, let's jump right into it. This is skiing in Tyrol. Let's go. Oh. 
so this seems like a pretty good place to talk about how I find these jobs and how I get work as a travel videographer. Now, if you guys have seen the last video I did, which was at ITB in Berlin, about how to find travel video work, that gives you a bit of an insight to the to the behind the scenes on the business side of things, specifically from ITB, which is a giant conference in Berlin. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's linked right there. Now. Travel Dudes is my partner here in Europe. I've been working with Travel Dudes for about three years. Travel Dudes is a website, which is a uh, social travel platform where you can create a uh, profile and share your posts about where you're backpacking, what you're doing, what you're seeing, and then uh, be a part of that community online, which is really cool. They've got a huge readership worldwide, lots and lots of followers, a nice big community and a giant reach. So uh, tourism boards like Tyrol and uh, Visit Austria decide to hire us to come here to make content to then market and promote this destination to the audience that Travel Dudes has. So that's essentially um, of what we're doing and I met uh, the owner of Travel Dudes who's German at WTM which is another travel conference but in London and again that was three years ago. So it's all about networking. It is an absolutely perfect day here in the Austrian Alps. We've got no wind, bluebird skies, and about 10 degrees. Been filming a ton this morning. We did a session in one of the Alpine huts where we had like an interview with a local guy here who told us a lot more about the local resort and some information that uh, we don't know. Um, and I'm filming right now with a protagonist and that character is Dave Brett, who some of you may know. So it's a lot about him skiing, uh, him experiencing the resort, and it's nice to have that local knowledge from the interview this morning. Lots of Dave ah. in the video. Okay, so we're in T-Roll right now. Got the Phantom 4 up in the air and uh, it is extremely bright right now. So I put on an ND8 filter, which is from Polar Pro, and that helps to really drown out the snow, but realistically, it's like super overexposed. So the trick when droning in like winter wonderland especially on a sunny day let's get a really really dark nd filter stay close to trees stay close to houses and uh you know try and get your shot and hopefully it'll turn out good and i think that's what we got today let's bring it down a brand new day here in Tyrol, Austria. And since I'm snowshoeing through an absolute winter wonderland, I figured this is a good time to talk a little bit more about how I find these travel gigs and how I got started in travel videography. So I think, at least I hope, a lot of you that are watching this already sort of know my story of um, adventure tourism and being a tour leader and winning the best job in the world and starting here in Europe with Nelly with the travel videography and photography business. If you don't, go and check out this video because that will give you a very good idea of how I made it to this spot. But for now, with this job with Travel Dudes, it's actually mostly Melvin, the owner of Travel Dudes, and Yannicka, who's the sales representative, that have been able to, uh, to confirm this trip for us. So I've got the very lucky position of being one of the Travel Dudes videographers. So when Melvin calls me up and says, hey man, we've got this great option to work with Visit T-Roll in Austria, are you free for these days? Do you want to come by? So I look at my schedule and I say, yes, yes I am. I'd like to come. So it shows you how important getting those partnerships is with other people in the industry. And the best way to do that is through collaboration. So look for people in your area 
that are also uh, video makers, Instagrammers, or YouTubers. Try and connect with them and uh, collaborate because that's a great way to find new work. So the best way to build an igloo is to find some very lovely kind people to dig the holes for you. <laughs> Hey Travel Dudes, Dave here, coming from an igloo. How is it in there? It's quite cozy. What's that German word? Gemüglich. As they say in Austria, it's very gemüglich. <laughs> Gemügling around in an igloo. <laughs> Love to gemügel. Do you like to gemügel? Come and gemügel in my igloo. <laughs> And this is it, one of the last days with the Feel Austria Love Tyrol Travel Dudes campaign. It has been full on, a lot of skiing, a lot of adventures in the Austrian Alps, and a lot of content. So I've tried to, uh, to design this behind the scenes video to give you an idea of how I got this job, what I do while I'm on assignment, and what I am uh, asked to deliver. So here's a bit of information on those requirements and the deliverables. For this job specifically, I've got three nine minute videos to make that are essentially travel guides for each of the destinations that we went to and then out of those three nine minute videos I'm going to produce about a minute and a half hero video taking the best frames and the best shots from those uh, travel guides and creating kind of like a, like a trailer but really like pump it up with some good music nice transitions etc etc uh, then on top of that so that's sort of six videos in total on top of that I'm gonna make little like 15 second teasers which we're gonna use on uh, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter to try and promote those videos which people will be able to find on traveldudes.org which is the website um, that has got this campaign so that is all of the post work and really that is a ton of work I know a lot of you watching this are video editors already and you know how much time it takes to put together all of this content so as much as I love being on the assignment and in the location a lot of the travel videography and even travel photography work is uh, is not really seen it's the editing it's uh, sitting in front of your laptop on Premiere Pro or Final Cut and uh, and just cutting you know that's, that's exactly the uh, the gist of it so I've rambled on a bit but I hope you've enjoyed this video it has been amazing weather here in Austria and it's been great to film with Dave and with Melvin and uh, and share the behind the scenes with you guys so as always thank you so much for watching I hope you've liked this video and I will see you on the next one Sometimes, this is what the job is all about. Just before we go here in Innsbruck, I want to give a big shout out to Drifa. This is an Austrian and Australian company that reached out to me via Instagram probably about a month ago. And the CEO was like, hey man, I love your content. I want you to have some of our gear. And I am by all means not a very big Instagram account, nor do I have a huge following on YouTube. But you know, when somebody offers me free stuff, I'm like, Sure thing, man. Um, I'm not getting paid for this. It's not an affiliate link or anything, but they sent me this jacket and these pants, and they have been absolutely awesome during this trip. So huge thanks to you guys if you're watching this, and uh, I'll be taking this gear down to Patagonia next month. So uh, hopefully it'll fare well there as it has done here in Austria. But yeah, very cool and something to aspire to for all you travel filmmakers out there. Maybe one day somebody's gonna give you free stuff. <laughs> and if it's anything like this, it's definitely worth it.